We are building a ADR track. So first off, what I want to do is I want to bring in my video clip. And what I want to do is take this and bring it in here. And we can see that I have my video. I'm going to resize this and just stick this up in the corner because I don't, eh, just stick it right here. And I can hear the audio and while the video is playing. And I can hear there's quite a bit of background noise and that's what we're gonna replace. So what I wanna do now is take the audio clip that was created and I have that here. And what I have on this, I'll just put this up here, I have five takes. And what I wanna do is audition each one of them to see which one would be the best. And I'll close that, so I click this. And what I can do, maybe move this straight down here, is turn this off and line this up. Now, if I can't quite see the levels right, I will lengthen this out and come over here. And what I'm trying to do is line this up. So maybe I cut this down a little bit and try to line that up. And I'm auditioning these to see if it lines up. And then when I listen to it, let's click back here. And if I feel like that's right, great. But you know, maybe it's not quite synced up the way I want. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut that one out. Command T, delete, and I'll drag this one down and audition this one. And again, I'm gonna line this up and see how it goes. So we'll hit play. Let's go back to the beginning here. And that one's looking pretty good. So I say, well, you know, maybe I'll just go with that one. If I do want that one, then I will simply command T here, cut the rest of this off, keep this one here, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's let's watch this, and I'll in fact I'll loop it just to make sure that uh, the full duration of the clip. And let's go all the way down to the end of the clip. So that's pretty good. Now I hear some breathing right here, so I'm gonna actually cut out that as well. Let's make sure I'm here. Cut that out, and I'm gonna cut, whoops, I gotta click here. Cut this as well. Just Command T and uh, to get that. Now I wanna clean up the audio even more. Now it sounds pretty good, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, and the volume seems fine but maybe I want to cut some maybe low end buzz. Low cut will do that. And what low cut does is it just gets rid of frequencies below uh, about 100 hertz. And that's usually room noise or buzz or some other things like that. So I have that in effect. And I'm going to, you know, it's already cut all the way down. That's cool. I have other ones I can do too. Now, if I was gonna do some other work on it, I could add in some of these things. Now, I don't feel like I need to have reverb, but if I put something like that in, um, it's just, it sounds a little bit echoey, like I'm in a room, and I'm just raising the volume ever so slightly. And it just kind of gives me uh, ambience, like I'm in a different size room. And so the, the higher I raise this, the more echoey it's gonna get. So maybe I want that, and maybe I don't. I'm just gonna pull it back down here because what I wanna do is I wanna put in ambient sound. Uh, this track I don't need here, I'm just gonna delete that. And I have some ambient sound that I found that I recorded outside in my backyard the 4th of July a number of years ago. And it's kind of funny because it has crickets and fireworks and all kinds of crazy stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom out little bit here because I want to get some of the sound over here. So what I want to do is, uh, oh, I don't want, I'm going to turn these off for now. I'm just going to cut this down and get over to this section because this is uh, just a bunch of frogs in the background. And I'm going to put this here. And it's a bit silly. Uh, it's not really what I would use for this typically, but it just kind of gets the effect. So I'm going to line this up and And it sounds fine, but what I am gonna do is I'm going to lower the volume 
and you can see here I've got the volume level. I'm going to bring it down quite a bit and I'll loop this again. I think and I can hear the crickets in the background ever so slightly. I'm going to bring the volume down just a bit more. Cool. I got my ambient sound. And that ambient sound is going to mask some of the noise that might be in the initial recording. But again, because I recorded this in the studio in front of a microphone, it's pretty clean. When I'm done with all this, what I want to do is go to File, Movie, Export Audio to Movie. And what it's going to do is it's going to put it right back into uh, the clip I want. And I'll just put it back inside this folder. Save. And it's crunching all the stuff down. And it's not actually editing it's not doing anything to the movie except replacing the audio that's in there. And you can see that this audio is turned off. And what I can do is come in here and date modified. And I can see this right here. And I'm going to double click this and open it up. And we'll wait for that. It should be. Hello. Let's just do this. Open QuickTime Player. And let's see what it sounds like. I never said you stole the money. That sounds pretty good. And I didn't really hear the crickets. I'm going to play it one more time. Oh, now I hear him. I never said you stole the money. And what's interesting is I forgot all this extra dead space is because this audio clip is long. So what I would do is come in here and I would edit down the edge of this clip because I don't need all that extraneous extra stuff. So I just come in here and let's turn this off and I'm going to grab the end of this and bring it down and have it end at the end of the clip because I don't want it to run any longer uh, than the clip itself. And now I would go file and export this out again and we'd have it. And that's it. That's how you do ADR replacement. This has been turned off so it did not export. I got the clean sound. I got some ambient sound in the background. I did some EQing, you know, low cut on this, and some volume control on this, and that's it.